Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Danny Viana and Bravery and MDU SF Harry Potter. I started off with IMK PLEs, and here is Danny Viana Bravery. Beautiful, beautiful polish. So we're going to get started here. Beautiful formula. It's going to need at least two coats. And depending on how you paint your nails and your uh, visible nail line, you might need three. But I really like this one. Okay. This is like, to me, a tomato -y red polish. And, you know, I mean, there's so many different kinds of red polishes. This one reminds me of, like, tomato soup with beautiful glitter in it. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I am really liking it, though. So pretty. Nice formula. Even with all that glitter in there, it's still got an excellent formula. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So, we're going to top it with I&M's Out the Door. Out the Door. And we're going to get it to dry down. I am going to be doing some stamping, reverse stamping, advanced stamping today. We're just going to stamp crazy on it. I'm going to cap that free edge real quick. Get that all nice and done. There we go. There's a swatch photo of it on its own. And here is the MDU, Mude de Unis. And this is the SF Harry Potter plate. I really can't get enough. I just love it. Love, love, love this plate. And I'll be using my H. La Cosadora scraper and opaque black sticky stampin' polish from She Modern. And I'm going to do, this one is Gryffindor, the like coat of arms or the house coat of arms. And I'm telling y'all, this is a tricky one to fill in. It's so tiny, but it fit on my nail. So getting that excess up with that tape, getting it out of the way. I'll be using Maniology Gold Rush to fill in some of this image. I've got a tiny dotting tool. This is like the tiniest one I've got, and it's still too big. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the best I can. <clears throat> it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to just do the best I can with what I have. And gonna fill this in. I'm gonna do the um, I'm gonna do three different colors on this on this stamped image here. I'm gonna do the gold, and then we'll get on to some more here in just a minute. I did try, try to dial in real tight so you could see what I was doing. I know I'm moving around, but I have to hold it up so that I can see. It's so tiny. I'm having to hold it up so I can see where the image is. Very challenging. This was a very challenging one here. Trying to get some of that blob off of there because I'm trying to do that little skinny tail and I go way overboard. But like I said, it's okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Take my word for it. Love clear stampers so that you can flip them over and check the image out and see if you need to add some more, which I totally did. Get a big old blob up there. Kind of scoping it out. <clears throat> like I said, it's not perfect, but it's okay. And I realized there's like a little paw there I needed to get. All right, next up we've got So Metal by Maniology. Beautiful s silver stamping polish. And I'm using stamping polishes to fill this in because they're so opaque. It's not like I'm going to have to keep going over it with the polish to get coverage. It's it's like a when and you're done kind of thing. So I use the silver to help make uh, the word for Gryffindor pop. All right, next we got Hit the Bottle and Copper Haired Girl, one of my favorite stamping polishes. <clears throat> I'm a little stingy with it because it's one of my favorites. It really is. I always get excited when I get to break it out and use it. And I'm just going around. This is like the outside the frame of the coat of arms. And we're almost there. We're getting there. 
very, very fun, but very tedious. I mean, you know, it can all be tedious, fun, and all that in the same, you know, breath. But I loved this. I loved being able to play with it. And I decided to do some just regular stamping. And this is the stamp. This image is the Flying Keys. If you've watched Harry Potter, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you watched this movie, I love this image. It just really is super duper cute. Oh, it's just adorable. Like little fairies. And this image is just a bunch of the character faces, kind of like cartoony. And it goes on my thumb. It doesn't really show up all that great, but that's okay. It's on the thumb. The thumb's lucky to be getting anything anyway, right? Because nobody hardly looks at the thumb. Alright, so I'm cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller. And I'll be using the sticky base coat to get my decal to stick to make sure it sticks good. And we'll just carry on with that. Got a clump of something on my finger. Got to get that off there. Okay, now we can get back to it. By the way, um, for the regular stamping, I was using my Fabier Nails stamper. Just for the straight up stamping. And now I'm going to top these stamped images with the smudge free top coat from Maniology. See, that just doesn't show up real good. Y'all can't see it very good. I could see it, but you know, it's always different in real life. So we got some smudge free top coat on that one. And now for this one. Yay! Once all of that is dry, I'm going to be covering these all, even the unstamped nails with a coat of sesh feet. Get it all sealed up and glossy. Love, love, love it. You got that free edge there. <clears throat> oh, it's so fun. So, I really had fun with this, and I'm really proud of myself for sticking to some, like, accent nails and leaving some nails just plain with just regular, you know, the nail polish on them. Um, I have a habit of overdoing it, so I was really proud that I was able to behave. Here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.